Hello. We're going on a little walk today. This is my farm, the one you're looking at here. And I had to come all the way up here because my goat got very naughty and decided to come to the neighbors. So I had to come all the way up here to get them. And now they're even coming when I call them. even coming for green. They are so naughty. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get them. Come on. There's a couple of them. Come on, Shay. Usually I feel like the pie they come. Usually I feel like the pie viper if I have a bucket of green. Still lagging behind. Who is it? Buttercup, come on! Come on, girl! Come on, guys. Girls, you gotta go home. You don't belong up here, and you know it. Go on! Well, that's nice, Will. Yuck. Shay needs combed out. She needs to get in the bird axe again. Naughty, naughty girls. Oh, Willow. Hey, Daisy. It's my corn bucket. All right. Come on. Girls. Oh, we drop some, drop some green. Wait for him to pick it up. Start our journey home. All the way down there is where you belong. Not clear up here. Hi cows. They hear the green bucket. They think it's theirs. Nope. Not today. Not today. Here we go. Everybody here? Everybody from this little small group. Where's the rest of them? The rest of them must still be in the barn. So yeah, that is my house, my barn, garage, pole barn. This is seldom seen acres. Everybody coming? Come on, babies. Well, we're out and about today catching goats. Maybe I'll do a little tour. Well, hi, Mr. Rooster. Do you need some grain, too? Do you need some corn? You need corn? Some more chickens. Those are my two apple trees. And this space used to be my garden space right in here. When I first moved here, like 16 years ago, 16 and a half years ago, I had a huge garden right in this area in rows. And I would mow the rest of the lawn over in there on the other side of the house and all of this. And I would collect all the mulch and put it in between the rows so, to keep the weeds down. Um, life and jobs and such got in the way and I no longer had time for a garden. So then, I didn't have a garden for several years. Um, <clears throat> then a few years ago, three or four years ago, I ended up putting these four beds in. These four right here. And I had very nice little gardens in those for the last couple years. And this year, I've decided um, we are expanding. So, so far, we have built four more big beds, and we have got the fence to fence in this whole area, like 58 by 
46 I believe it is or roughly 50 by 50 area um, so we'll be working on that we have been working on that so we've got the, the post for this side and the post along that side and we have a gate we don't have a fence but we have a gate <laughs> um, and like I said we have these beds started um, that's pretty much it for the garden right at the moment and this cross here I'm not exactly sure my boys decided we needed a cross in the center of the garden and while their dad was building these the other day they decided to nail together some pieces and make a cross so that's a nice added touch these are my two little apple trees and I can't remember I know one is a spy the other one I don't remember what it is they were planted when I moved here and then of course this poor old garage is about ready to fall down um, that's here um, this is the house the back of the house and our fenced in play yard from when the kids were a little bit younger and my quail pen is over there on the other side of the picnic table it's my compost bin that somehow got left open I don't know why probably one of the kids and of course no matter where I go especially if I have a grain bucket this is what I have. Chickens. And actually this isn't even all of the chickens, so there you go, chickies. And the rest of the corn. And there's the pole barn, which usually we normally just use that for storage. Because if I decided to fill that with animals, we'd all be in trouble. Alright, this is what I have nicknamed Bunnyville. Uh, most of the majority of my bunnies um, and the kids' old car seats that they like to use as lounge chairs. And this is the one litter of bunnies that I showed you not too long ago when, when they were just tiny. I think they might be like three weeks old now. I can't remember. All nine of them survived. They're doing well. And I've got a new litter of bunnies over there. Christine had six babies, but she is a nasty little witch. So I don't like to get in her pen any more than I have to to feed her. And out of Carolyn's pen, she's the one that had 11 babies. And for some reason, only two of them survived. So I'm not real sure what happened, whether... She just didn't like us handling them, or if because we did get really cold temperatures in like five inches of snow the day after she had them. So that could have been it too. I really don't know. I checked on them one day, one night before I went to bed, and they were fine. The next morning, the majority of them were dead. So I don't know. But anyway, such is life, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's other. These pens, I normally have the goats penned in at night, and they each have a little, a little hole that they can get in and go inside the barn into a little stall inside. So I think my battery is about to run out, but that's on this side of the house. And my mom and dad lived across the road. Dad is gone now. Mom still lives there. And of course, this is down to the, there's a river that runs down through on the other side of the trees. But down to the river is the rest of my property, which is fenced and the pasture is rented to the guy that owns the cows. So yes, there's the big barn. There's the garage and the messy pile of toys that are in the sandbox so we could mow the other day. Oh, and my quail pen is over here. And someday I'll take you on a tour on the inside of the barn, but we're not ready for that today. It's really dark in there, and I haven't got all the pens cleaned from winter. Oh, and this is a bad light for you to see the quail very well, but they're in there. And I just started laying the other day. I got three eggs one day and two another day. So, all right, that is our tour of seldom seen acres, such as it is, and I'll talk to you again.